it's getting pretty dark out there, but the elephants are now having the best possible time. Look at them having a wonderful swim. All of them now have given up on any source of or sense of decorum, and they're all lying about in the mud, enjoying an early evening swim before supper. And who says that adult animals don't like to play? There is no possible reason for them to be doing what they're doing now other than for fun. Oh, look at them. Now, my grandmother, uh, we've had the same question from Tormented Zombie Owl, that's quite interesting, who say, can elephants get bulhazia? Well, when I saw that question, I thought, good grief. I doubt anyone's ever looked for to find out, so I did a bit of research. And they can. They can get bulhazia. Now, bulhazia comes in more than one type. I mean, you get four or five different, probably six or seven different types. And elephants, uh, Asian elephants can get one or two types, and African elephants can get two types as well. So that's quite interesting. I'm not entirely sure which types they can get. And for those of you who don't know, bulhazia, or skit, Schizomyasis. Schizomyasis has nothing to do with being a schizophrenic. Uh, it's got to do with a worm that has two hosts, a little bit like a malarial parasite has two hosts, one of which is human beings and the other of which is a snail. And from those snails you can get infected by the worms which then get into your liver and they can do some fairly nasty things to human beings. I suspect you'll find that these elephants have got a natural resistance to it and so they might feel a little bit down for a couple of days but then they're probably okay. And they're probably, many of them, if they can be infected, they probably just carry it. And, you know, it may recur if they're feeling very weak. Look at that one backing up there. And of course if you don't want to get bulhazia, this is the kind of water you need to try and avoid except that this water doesn't have human beings um, using it for their toilets, basically. That's how it gets transferred back into the water. So it'd probably be okay walking around in this water. It does have elephants using it, and so if we're infected by the same worms as elephants, then I guess we could get it from water like this. They are having the best possible time there. Rachel, you're asking what Bilhazia is. Um, as I said, it's it's a worm that is that is, needs two hosts, and the worm has a snail host in the water, and then a mammal host out of the water, and often that's a human being, and sometimes it's an elephant, clearly, and I suspect various other mammals as well. And, well, the symptoms it causes in human beings would be a well, general feeling of unwell, sore stomach, and eventually, of course, you will start to urinate blood. It can have neurological systems. You get numb legs or seizures sometimes, and it can cause permanent damage if it's not treated. And so while it sounds like a very dire disease, one pill will get rid of it. And indeed, uh, Jandre, we think, had it the other day. Uh, Brent diagnosed him, he took the treatment regardless, and he got better. So it may or may not have been bilhazia, but certainly it's not difficult to treat. But if untreated, it can be very unpleasant indeed.